I've got an initialized patch here and I've called up one of the wavetables and turned on the filter. And in this video, we're gonna look at the filter envelope and this envelope depth knob. Now the depth knob here is, is another dedicated modulation control like the keyboard tracking. And it's basically used to set the amount that the filter envelope is gonna affect the cutoff frequency. So in this case, the filter envelope, right now we're looking at the amp envelope, this is the filter envelope, is the modulation source, the cutoff value is the destination, and the envelope controls the depth, the amount that this envelope or these envelope settings are gonna affect the filter cutoff. So let's dial this all the way up for the moment so we can really hear what it's doing. Now, an envelope basically affects, in this case, the response of the filter over time. When we're looking at an amp envelope, it affects the amplitude, the volume of a note over time, the different stages a note goes through. So in this case, the filter envelope, the first parameter we have is A for attack. Now, as I dial this up, it's gonna slow down how long it takes until this cutoff value is reached. So let me play what it sounds like now with this all the way at the bottom. Now, let me raise this up. You hear it takes a bit of a time or a bit of a delay until that filter is reached, this filter setting is reached. So that's the attack, how long it takes until the cutoff reaches that stage or that value. Now here we have decay, and this is the amount of time that the filter stays open until it reduces down to the sustain level. So if I increase this, it's gonna take longer to drop down to this level. Let's hear it as is now. And there it's dropped down. And I'll slow this down or rather make it faster, and you'll hear it drop down quicker. There, it's dropped down more quickly and more abruptly. So it drops down abruptly to the sustain level versus taking longer to drop down. So it's a much more gradual decay time until it reaches the sustain level. So let's hear it again with a quick abrupt decay. And if I raise the sustain level, it'll sustain at a different value. And in this case, we're talking about the cutoff frequency. So we set the actual value of the cutoff that it's gonna rest at with this slider, and this is the amount of time it takes once it's fully open or open to where that value is set at to drop down here. Now the release determines how the filter behaves once we release the note. Now to hear the effect of this, I'm gonna go into the amp envelope and I'm gonna increase the release time so that when I take my finger off the note, we hear the note last a bit longer until it returns to zero amplitude. Right now, you can see where I'm hitting the keys on the keyboard, when I release my finger, the sound dies away immediately. So I'm gonna increase this, and it'll linger and take a while to decay down to zero. So now back to the filter envelope, we can control the release time, how long once I release my finger from the note, the filter will take to revert back to the level that it's at. Let's try with a really quick release time. And with a slow release time. So it takes longer for it to go back to its default value. So those are the stages that an envelope goes through, and in this case, the filter envelope to affect the cutoff frequency. And this determines the influence, how much this is gonna affect it. So let's set some dramatic values here. And with less depth, it won't be as pronounced an effect. And we can invert the envelope by pressing this button. So watch what happens now when I release the note. It ramps up rather than down. So that's the filter envelope section. I'll see you for more in the next video.